Speaking to you ahead of your 50th game on the weekend against Cardiff City, just how much does that achievement mean to you? Yeah, it's it's a it's a great achievement for myself. You know, it's something that I'm really proud and really honoured to to be doing this role. And you know, can't thank the club for the the faith that they put in in me. You know, 49 games ago. So you know, it's a it's a fantastic opportunity, and I've loved the journey so far. And looking to build on what we've done so far and continue to gain success for the women's team. When you look back on your first day in interim charge, did you ever feel? that the club could get into this position or certainly as quickly have the, as they have done over the last couple of years? I think the belief was always there, but as you said there, how quickly we achieved it, I, I think that was one thing that we probably didn't uh, believe had happened so quick, you know. Obviously taking over as interim and going on the run that we did in the in the first season and then the second season we go and win the league and, and the playoff final, it was... It was something that we'd worked towards, but you know we had a we had a longer term plan to achieve it. But so to achieve it in that short space of time, something that I look back on with with an immense proud pride, and you know really happy that we've got into that position because if you can see that we're sort of thriving on it and, and we're doing really well so far in the in the league above, so we're we're happy with what we've achieved so far. Forty nine games in, reflecting back on your time at the club, what would you say has been your best moment so far? It's got to be winning the league and getting promotion. Um, you know, even though we probably weren't in a position to win the league, and you know, when I first took over, you know, to go that close to winning it was, you know, reflecting on that, it was it was fantastic to to see how far we'd come in that ten games. Um, but then, obviously, to go the next season unbeaten and and win that playoff final, um, you know, it's something that'll stick with me for for a long time and then obviously the men going and getting promoted as well and having the bus parade as well that, that obviously that tails onto the back of that that was that was something that's obviously going to live uh, stick with me for a, for a long time there's obviously been progression across the board but when you look back at the team that you've got how much have you seen them grow but also how much have you seen Welsh football grow in the women's game over the last couple of years as well yeah it's changed a lot and obviously the players that we've managed to attract to the club as well you know we've We've got some really good players in, you know, probably if we look back a couple of years ago, probably wouldn't have been able to achieve uh, getting these types of players into the into the club. So that's obviously a positive. So it improves us as a club. And, you know, I think obviously the standard of the league this year is really good and it's only going to get better because of the quality of players that are coming through. There's a lot of young players in, in the league now as well. So the pathway from, from under 19s as well is massive and you know, going all the way from, from obviously your development centres as well. So there's a, a lot to look forward to. Um, and, you know, the game's only going to get better uh, as, you know, the investment and, and obviously the time that the coaches put into to making these players better. And, you know, it's going to be competitive for a long time. And it's really good to see. While 50 games clearly is going to be a, a massive achievement for yourself, just how motivated are you to then go down to Cardiff in front of what is set to be a big crowd and get the result to boot to mark that landmark uh, run of games? Yeah, it's it's important. Results are important, especially at this stage of the, of the season. We're coming down to the sort of business end now and it's important that we, you know, we're, we're, we're in a good position so far, um, but we obviously want to get over the line, but we want to do it in the right way by picking up as many points as we can. Obviously, it's a fantastic opportunity to go and play at a, a great venue. It's going to be a good atmosphere. You know, by the looks of it, there's going to be a few Wrexham fans coming down as well. So it's it's going to be a, a great occasion. And the girls have got to sort of have the confidence that they sort of did second half against Cardiff in the Cup and take the game to them, really. And, and you know, go there and have a good go and have no sort of regrets at the end of the game and, and see where that takes us. You just touched upon the support. It obviously goes without saying, but how important is that support from the fans if you are to get a result at Cardiff on Sunday? It's massive. Obviously, going away from home, you're, you're always going to be outnumbered and you know the odds are against you slightly because of the quality that they've got as well. But um, I think, obviously, with it being in, in their, their home stadium as well, it, it's a fantastic opportunity for... For, for the girls to play in front of a good crowd but you know to have a, our own section of fans there you know spurring the girls on is going to be massive you know because it's important that they get behind them and you know get us get us over the line and obviously give us that encouragement going forward to conclude for yourself just how special is it to work with the group of women that you do on a day-to-day -day basis and just everything that's going on with the club at the minute it's fantastic you know and, and you know we alluded to it before the 
the growth of it and how quickly we've got to this position, you know, is fantastic. There's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes, you know, the club have been so supportive to get us into this position as well. So, you know, hats off to them for, for backing us and, and trusting us to do the job. But, you know, the the girls that we've got here are, are fantastic. You know, they, they work so hard for one another and they, they want to be successful as well. And, you know, so far this season, we've, we've, we've shown quite a lot of teams that we're here, to, not just to make up the numbers and, you know, we're, we're here to sort of Add, add value to the league and make sure that we're competitive in it and you know if we to, if we were to get into the top four in our first season and hopefully get to a cup final as well you know that's that's a good season for me and hopefully see, see where that takes us and you know we build from there and and keep the keep the success coming and obviously the excitement around the whole club is is fantastic and getting new supporters in is is vital and you know it's important that we we keep showcasing what the women's team are about and giving good accounts of ourselves.